Hello, I just wanted to give you an update on my indoor beehive. This is the third week that I've had the bees and they are continuing to do very well. There is a lot of eggs laid in this section here and a lot of it is they have started capping off, uh, which means it won't be long that new bees will start hatching out of them. I did notice that they have started uncapping some of the sugar water that they had previously capped off up here they have started uncapping it today it's really really cold outside and raining and so the bees aren't very active they're not i don't see any going in and out of the tube there's one but there's not much activity outside the hive so i decided to go ahead and and give them some more sugar water it's been about a week since they had any that I'd given them. So I give them some more and there, it didn't take them no time to find it and start feeding on it. I also noticed that once I took away the sugar water, they stopped producing very much new comb. So I'm hoping that maybe by giving them some more sugar water, they'll expand more comb into this side of the hive because they have filled this side pretty much full and the queen has been very active in laying eggs uh, i've actually got a shot of the queen uh, laying eggs and i'll show you that after a lot of looking and searching i think i have finally located the queen and that's her right there uh, she is moving around depositing eggs in the cells You can tell she is the one with her, her butt stuck down inside the cell. She's laying eggs right now. And all the other bees are kind of gathered around. <clears throat> looking like they're like kissing her or something. There's a close-up of the queen. She's laying eggs. And there you can see they're feeding her.
you can see in these cells here, there is some larvae uh, down in the bottom of the cells. And this is where the queen has laid an egg and they have taken care of it and fed it and it has developed into a larvae state. And they'll stay in this larvae state until it gets a little larger and they will cap it off. And once they cap it off, it'll stay in there until it fully develops. From the time the queen puts the, the egg in the cell until it uh, emerges fully developed, it's about 21 days. Here's some that has um, already been capped off. You see a few cells there that still have the larvae in the bottom of them. But they, uh, they've they capped this off. And you can tell a difference between it and the, where they keep the food. Because this has a little, little rounded top to it. The food is more flatter. And these bees, once they are hatched from the uh, cells, in the summer they'll live five to six weeks. During the winter, they may live four to six months. They are, they're not as active in the winter, and so they, they live a little bit longer in the winter months. Here's an example of where they have capped off some of their food. And you can see it looks a lot flatter than the brood does. So you can tell that it's not, it doesn't have the, the eggs of the larvae in it. I wanted to show you my flow hive. It's right over here. It's not connected to the other hives yet, but I plan on connecting that very soon. And I'll explain to you in the future more about what a flow hive is. But this here is my flow hive. I bought the frames and built the box. But uh, I'll explain more about that to you in a later video. Still printing some more parts uh, for some more beehives. And steady printing away. I got a few parts here printed up. Uh, I wanted to take you out and show you some more of my farm. Uh, I have a koi pond. I'm just going to take you out and show you that right now. This is my koi pond. Uh, got quite a few fish in there, about 15 or so. They look like they might be hungry. Let's see if we can give them a little food here. Got about 15 koi in there. They range in different sizes. I think some of the biggest ones are about 15 inches long. I built this enclosure. It has a screen cloth over the top to give it shade. And around the sides, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a netting up around the sides to keep uh, birds out, like cranes and blue herons. But they do like to come in and, and eat the fish. So this is my koi pond. I have some uh, water plants over here in these pots and I have quite a few plants in the pond. I have some water lilies and some water irises and I have a couple of fountains. I had this pond for quite a while this is the best it's ever looked. I hope you enjoyed watching my videos. If you do, then uh, hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.